Hey, it's another video for today's iCAD. I am starting with some craft card stock and I'm using this Heidi Swap stencil. I'm going to go randomly um, over it with this um, Adirondack dabber in pool and then I also have the Distressed Paint and Picked Raspberry. I think this has become my favorite color to use. I love mixing this color with everything, with every other color. Um, okay, I'm going to shake this up. Get to dabbing. Mm hmm. I want to leave some bare spots. I guess I'll. Oh, I hate when I move the stencil. Yeah, I moved the stencil and that kind of messed up my... One of these days I'll start taping these things down. Instead of trying to hold on to it myself. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to dry it. Gosh, I've got so much crap out here. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to get this inky stencil on any of my... papers that are hanging out here. Okay. I'm going to go dump this in water real quick. We'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. All right, now I'm going to dry it. Okay, good enough. Then I'm going to grab this picked raspberry. And then I'm just going to kind of do some random brushing here. I'm still going to want to leave some of the brown showing. this. I think I'm going to lift up some of that color. Yeah, I think I want to lift up a little bit more of that. I found my spray bottle. Okay, dry that. Good enough. Now what? Okay, I think. I think what I'll do is I will stamp a couple of, maybe a butterfly or two on there. And 
Okay, I'm gonna be back because I gotta find a butterfly stamp and I think I wanna do like a cutout um, with my Sizzix as well. So I'll be back. Okay, I've got this Glimmer Glaze in Pewter and I'm gonna flick some of this on here. Okay, I think that's good enough. Don't want to overdo it. And where's my rag? Okay, I'm going to dry that real quick. I'm trying not to blow all my stuff around. It's taking a long time for that to dry. Uh, okay. Maybe it's just really shiny. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. All right, now. Uh, okay, I use the Tim Holtz Butterfly Movers and Shapers um, Butterfly Die to cut these out. I think before I lay those down, I'm going to uh, grab the little butterfly stamp, too. I'm going to put my little quote. And this is a Tim Holtz quote, quote from some set. I have no idea what it is because I take all my stuff out of packaging to put it on my storage sheet. So I'm just using sepia Versafine. And I think... No, I'm going to have a title up there, so I'm going to have this be right there. Cool. A little off-center, but that's okay. Alright, and now I also want to take this little butterfly stamp and... I'm going to use the same ink. I'm going to just do him a couple of times. Kind of going off the page a little bit. Maybe do a little ghost image. Let me see. Hmm. I don't know where I want this. Maybe right there. And then finally like right there. Just a little ghost image. Ooh, I did that wrong. He should have gone that way instead of that way. <laughs> Good thing it's really light. Okay. And now I'm going to put... Hmm. What am I going to put? Oh, I inked around the edges of this too, um, just to make it stand out. So I don't know if I'm gonna. Now that needs to be up. That needs to be down. Because what I'm gonna do is I am going to come in with a little title here. And I hope I'm still in frame because I can't see. Um, yeah, I'm going to 
come in with my title right here. I might as well lay this out. Oh, great. <laughs> when they do this on the videos, it makes they make it look so easy. Yeah, okay. That didn't work out so well for me, of course. Nothing ever does. <laughs> All right, tweezers. I can't do anything with these damn nails either. Okay, let's try this again. Sucks, because that ruler had everything perfectly spaced, and now I'm having to just eyeball it. And Again. I don't eyeball things very well. Yeah, see, it's already a little crooked. That's okay. Can't sweat over that kind of stuff. I wanted to leave a little bit of space in between my letters because I'm going to go back around it with an ink tense water soluble pencil. Pencil? 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 Yeah. Kind of wonky, but I just don't care. And I think that I am going to use a matte medium to put that down. Or maybe collage podge. Shoot, I don't know how that's going to affect my pencil. Fooey. I just want to make sure my letters don't move. Um, they don't stick to paint very well, painted backgrounds, so I thought I would go over this with some collage podge and lay down my um, butterflies as well. But, alright, what the heck, I'm just going to do it. Brush. Okay. Just going to take some collage podge and squeeze it on my brush. All I'm wanting to do is just seal that in, like I said, because I don't want those letters popping up. And now, my only concern with doing that is I didn't know if my ink tense water-soluble pencil, I don't know how the pencil's going to flow over the top of that, so I guess I'll find out. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, I'll just put this on there. Little butterfly there. Put that little butterfly there. Okay. <sighs> then I'm going to take some glue and I don't know what kind of glue I want to use here. I've got this uh, quick dry adhesive out because I'm using it on my album, so how about we do that? I cut just a little bit of trim um, off some fibers that I had, and I'm going to use that as the um, center of the butterfly body here. And right now I'm just putting glue right down the center of it. That sucks. That's not <laughs> that's not working good. Okay, I can't use this. See, you guys get to see all the mistakes I make and then how I fix it. Okay, well that totally blows. Wipe that up. 
I'm screwing my butterfly up. Okay, I guess I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac, or yeah, Fabri-Tac. Let's just try that. If it's gonna come out, whoa. Maybe I just should have used hot glue on that. Okay, there's that. Do this one. Try not to use as much this time. All right, clean off my glue top here. Get it back on, out of my way. All right, lay this one down. Yeah, this is sticking a lot better, so. Yeah, Scotch Quick Dry, not so much. Fabri-Tac, that worked out pretty, pretty good there. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. And I think I'm gonna take, when I do my outline my letters, I think I'm gonna go around this too, just to outline my quote as well. Um, cause it's kind of buried in there. So let me go dump this in the water. Okay. And I am going to use this. What is this? This is a Derwent Graphitint pencil in cocoa. Hello. <laughs> okay, so now I think what I'm gonna do, am I in frame here? Yeah, it looks like it. You know what, maybe I don't wanna use that around here because it's actually the same color. Yeah, it's the same color. I want to use it up here, but I'll have to come up with something else for over here because the color is too matchy-matchy. So I'm just doing a rough outline. I'm gonna hope <laughs> that when I apply the water to it, it blends okay on top of that collage podge. Okay, and then what do I wanna use for that? <clears throat> I guess I just need to find like maybe a, um, like a charcoal blacky color. Um, Granola. Um, you'd think that would stand out really well, but it's not. That's bark. All right, I found this ink tints and bark. That may match too, but it does appear to be a little bit darker. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. We'll see. Okay, and then I just have my water brush out. So I'm just getting it activated here. Yeah, I don't know if I like that on the collage page. Not a fan of that. Uh, 
Ugh. Not to mention it's lifting right up right when you wipe it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I may leave it. Okay, I'm going to finish this up because I just realized I'm totally out of frame and you couldn't see anything I was just doing anyway. So <laughs> I'm going to finish this and I will be back. Okay, so I did not like the way that the ink tense pencil looked around my little quote here. So, or at the top either. So <laughs> I went around it with some a signo pen, a white signo pen, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Because like I said, I did not like the way that that looked. So, um, and I just um, finished off by distressing the edges here with uh, some black soot distress ink. Just to frame it out a little bit more. But this is my card. So very quick and easy. I'm really liking these because when I'm working on a big, big project like I am with the Steampunk Journal, um, I can still do the something like this and it doesn't take up, you know, that not only that much time, but I don't have to worry about having all my supplies out here and um, like when I'm doing an art, an art journal page. So I really like doing these um, when I'm working on a big project. So anyway, I just thought I would share and I'll see you guys later.